hello guys so welcome back to my channel um, in this video I want to just show us how we can um, do the um, the share permission task together though we have a video that um, already um, teach us how we can calculate share permission using the author annotation and then also how we can change mode using the GUO permission mode all right so you can check that video i'm going to put a link in the description of this video so you can go ahead and check the video to learn okay that is to learn um this video is straightforward going to be um having to do this task okay but if you want to learn this concept the share permission content uh, concepts check my video share permission tutorial check it in on this channel you're going to learn a lot from it okay uh, everything was explained step by step everything was explained step by step and there's also a video for the quiz questions in case you have issues with that um, also check the channel you're going to see um, the video for the quiz question and the link is also going to be in the description of this video so but for this video we're going to go straight to the point to the task so the requirements um, the allow editors is vi and then our script should be with ubuntu and then our script should learn, uh, have two lines and the first line should be exactly this which is the share bank and then a readme file and uh, no boxes and then all your files must be executable okay so let's go ahead i am going to pick my ubuntu all right so i'll be working with my ubuntu not the sandbox this time around like i said yesterday from now on i'll be working with my ubuntu okay so here I will just cd to this repository so you don't need to clone the repository again because you already have it cloned into your sandbox or wherever you're working from either your git um, bash your ubuntu or your sandbox so it's the same repository you're working with so we're just going to cd into this repository so you are not creating a new repository you are not um cloning a repository okay so we just cd into this repository so here you see that we already have one file there which is the one um, folder which is the share basis so we are just going to create a new we're going to create a new folder inside all right and then we're going to say mkgi arrow and then the name of the folder we want to create which is share permission and then we'll cd into this new repository that we just um new folder that we just created right which is share permission so cd and then for ls you see that nothing is inside this particular nothing is inside this particular repository um, directory for now okay i want to zoom this a bit so that you can see better yeah i think this makes more sense okay just to be bold let's clear this now the next thing we need to do is to create a readme file so we'll just use the echo command so that will be fast and then echo we are going to just add um, um this let me drag this there this is the readme for this project all right for this project share permissions okay i think that we do then let's close our code and then the name of the file readme.mg okay so if you ls now you should have readme.mg there okay so the first question they ask us is create a script that switches the current user to the user betty okay that is quite simple yeah so it's just to create a script and this is the file name i am betty just to create a script that will switch uh, from my name from me so if i was the owner of the file it will change from me and then it will hand over the ownership of that file to or the use yeah the ownership of the file to um betty or the user to betty so how do we do that we are just going to vi and then paste our file name okay so 
i to insert now remember that the first line of our code has to be the share bank okay and then what is the command to switch user to betty let's see betty that's all that's the command so escape column wq to save and exit okay and after that what do you do you make a file executable don't forget and then the file name okay enter so ls so we'll have betty there so let's git git add git commit so i will use um the file name as a commit message and git git push okay so you see without cloning it's able to push because you already cloned the repository so let's see our code oh sorry this is okay the checker is not out yet as at this time so let's just continue with our work but once you do that you should be good to go the checker is not released yet okay the checker is not released yet as at this time so let's go ahead and do the next question we'll clear this okay so this since the checker is not released I'm tempted to just do everything then push everything at once so let's copy who am I that's the file name here we are going to vi and then paste the file name enter okay so I to enter insert mode and then our constant enter so who am I that is oh that is what they want us to do write a script that prints the effective user of the current effective username of the current user all right so the effective username is going to show who am I that's all that's all okay so here we can escape save and exit and uh, make sure that we make our file executable u plus f space um one who am i okay so let's move to the next question oh or let's just let's just do it the way we've been doing it so let's git add if network permits us let's just do it that way then git commit dash m and git push okay so that's done so let's move to question two write a script that prints all the group the current user is part of okay so that's simple the script is just group so once we just type group it will bring out it will bring out all the groups that you are in so how do we do that we're going to do vi okay so the share bank so and then groups so it will show all the groups okay save and exit so let's go ahead and change mode u plus s and then the file name git add git commit and git push Okay, so let's move to the next question. 
new owner okay so write a script that changes the owner of a file of the file hello to the user betty okay so we have to hand over this file to betty the ownership completely to betty okay so I have to hand over the ownership of this file to betty so how do we do that let's go to our vi all right so the share bank don't always forget this green bash okay so how do we give that permission so to to change ownership is a uh, chon then you are changing ownership to betty okay from hello to betty so simple that is all so save and exit and then let's make it executable change mode u plus s and the name of the file so let's git add and then git commit dash m and git push okay let's clear our terminal and then um, we are done with question three so let's go to question four write a script that creates an empty file called hello of course this is i think this is the simplest we've done so far all right so let's vi and then enter inside more let's write a script constant green bash and then what is the script so it's just to touch hello so file name is hello so to create an empty file without anything inside is touch so save and exit and then make it executable u plus s and the file name enter so git add git commit dash m and then git push okay so we are done with that um of course the checker is not released yet so but everything we are doing is absolutely on point okay Question five, write a script that adds execute permission to the owner of the file, hello. Okay, so this is also very simple. Execute permission, so that's uh, um, X. Execution is X, of course, you know. Read is arrow, write is W, execution is X. So let's go to Ubuntu, that's question five. So VI, and let's paste this. Then, uh, constant being bash okay so write a script that we change mode so we're going to use change mode of course change mode and then we're going to add execution permission this is what we've been doing all the all the while to this file okay hello so that is it so execution so if we're asked to you um, give it right permission it's supposed to be arrow if it's read i mean write permission w read arrow okay so let's go ahead save and exit and then same command change mode u plus s of course we've been using this and then the file name which is um, this enter so git add git commit and git push yeah i know i'm very fast this is because i already explained this in my other video which i promised to put this the link in the description of this video very detailed video with all the calculations all right the octa notation and the likes okay let's go to the next video i mean the next um question write a script that adds execute permission to the owner and the group owner so execute permission to the owner and the group owner that's 
the owner is u, the group owner is g, and then the executive permission is x. So that's ug plus x. And write and write permission to other user of the file. So write permission is is um w and then other user is represented by o okay so we're going to use the equal sign to do that so the file name is hello so let's copy this let's copy this then gi okay enter and then the sh share bank all right so how do we write this First, we are going to use the command change mode, of course, space. So they say for user, which is U, and then for group, which is um, G plus X, that's execution permission. Okay, then comma O, which is order, and then plus, is it read or write? Let's see. Um, and read okay read permission okay so that is correct so read is arrow read then space what hello okay so this is clear right so change mode you represent user that's the owner g represent the group then plus x is the execution permission so we're giving them these two are giving them execution permission and then for the other others we are giving them only read permission so that is o that represent others and arrow that represent read and then this is the name of the file so go ahead save and exit and then let's change mode u plus x okay i believe this is quite um um simple and explanatory git add then git commit and git push okay Shula. okay so next question question seven says write a script that adds execution permission to the owner owner is u okay owner is u execution permission is x the group owner and other users so the file hello the file hello will be in the working directory you you are not allowed to use commas for this script okay this is actually simple even without the commas so we're writing a script that gives execution permission to number one the owner number two the group number three the user so it's, it's actually simple let's copy this everybody so we are just going to vi into our file and enter and then as constant share bank enter okay so we're going to use the command change mode okay so now we're giving command we're giving them um, permission for execution to all of them so u is for owner g is for group o is for others plus x and then the file name is hello this is all they want us to do all right so u is the owner of the of the of the file g is for group o is for others and then they say we should give them execution permission so the x is for execution permission and then hello is the file name so let's um save and exit and then let's make it executable u plus s and the file name is this okay so let's git add git commit and git push voila let's clear our terminal and see our next question so we're done with question seven james bond write a script that sets the permission to the file hello as follows owner no permission at all okay so owner that is for you is no permission at all all right and then for group no permission at all and other users all the permission okay that's also simple let's see copy this so it's only other users that have 
all the permissions owner no permission at all group no permission at all that's you no permission g no permission then o all permissions okay so let's go ahead and enter insert mode okay so how do we write this permission we're going to use the author notation for this so change mode user no permission group no permission and others all permission which is seven so like i said i already explained this in my other video so check that video in the link in the description you understand why this is 007 okay for all permissions is seven okay for um um write or read is four write is two execution is one okay so that's how far i can explain that but check the video and you will understand so let's change mode u plus s and then the name of the file so make it executable and git add git commit so this is ubuntu that is why you see that it's very fast so i encourage us to also use our ubuntu or our background sorry it's um this one is git push okay so that should be it for now let's go to question number nine question number nine say write a script that sets the mode of the file hello to this okay the mode of the file hello to this so we can actually use um the author notation so um the file is um, this is seven this is four plus one is five and then this is um three so seven five three okay change mode seven five three and the file name is hello so that is all they want us to do so let's copy this okay and um let's be into this enter so let's go ahead and write a constant then bash okay so we are asked to write this so this is going to be change mode space so this is our permission for two and one so this is seven okay this is seven um this is three yep yep so this is seven this is zero this is five so this slash this first one is actually telling us that it's a regular five so this is seven arrow to x is five and this is three so that's seven five three yep that's correct so change more space seven five three and then the name of the file hello okay so let's save and exit and then make it executable so u plus x space the name of the file and enter so let's git add git commit and git push great let's clear our terminal and go to the next question and see question 10 write a script that said the mode of the file hello the same as Ole, Ole's mode. The file hello will be in this. The file Ole will be in the working directory. Okay. So let's see. So we we'll have hello and we we'll have Ole. So we need to set both permission the same. Okay. Any script to write must set both permissions as the same. Okay. So let's see how that works. So vi 
and then let's write as constant bin bash okay so we are writing a script that will change the mode so that is change mode first and so we are going to reference all right ref friends okay so we're going to reference only of course i hope i got that name correct oh yeah space hello okay so what this means is that we are referencing this file and saying that whatever is in this file we want to change the mode of this file to it okay so that's like setting the both files to have the same mode so let's save sorry so escape save and exit and then change mode u plus x and our file name is then So let's git add git commit dash m and git push. Okay, so that is it. Let's clear our terminal and let's look at our next question. Question 11. So question 11 says create a script that adds execute permission to all subdirectories of the current directory for the owner the group owner and all other users regular files should not be changed okay regular files should not be changed so we are writing a script that adds only execute permission so execute permission to all subdirectories of the current directory only execute okay no write no read for the owner the group owner and all other users so we are writing it for the owner the group owner under then the only files that are not will not be there is the regular files should not be changed okay so let's see how we can write it let's copy this and um so vi so should bang bim bash okay so first is change mode of course and then they say for regular regular no we are not changing them so we're only adding execute permission to all other files okay we're only adding execute permission to all other files okay so all other files the regular files no permission and then every other file will have so regular files should not be changed okay so that is the the command so change mode and then iphone arrow plus x and the full stop so let's save and exit and um change mode u plus x and the file name so let's git add git commit and git So let's go ahead and clear our terminal and then look at the next question, question 12. So we have how many questions to do? Wow, still have a lot to go. So question 12, create a script that creates a directory called my DI arrow with permission 751 in the working directory, okay? So this is simple, we have to create a script 
and then they create the name of the directory is this so if we create make a directory that mkdr arrow is not the directory and they will give it give the directory this permission 751 okay so that's simple vi enter so bin bash okay so mk mkdi arrow uh let me see the placement again that creates my di arrow with the permission 751 okay okay the arrow space dash m 751 and then the name of the directory my D I R. Okay. So let's go ahead, save and exit. So let me make it smaller so that we can see the edges. this should be visible from the end so the next thing we'll do is to change mode so u plus s let me see where this is like change mode okay I need to get a new canvas oh sorry I need to open my bones here again so let me just see it into ALS bash system engineering enter and then see it into 0x02 Okay, okay, zero X zero one. So C D into zero X zero one. Okay, so let's clear our files. LS again. Let me zoom this a bit. Um, which question? I think that was question 12. So change mode. Um, U plus S. And then question 12. Then git add dot git commit dash M. and git push okay so let's see our next question question 13 okay this is the last for the mandatory write a script that changes the group owner to school for the file alone the file alone will be in the working directory okay so that changes the group owner from to school so vi Let's paste this. So bin bash enter. Okay. So a script that changes the um let me come again that changes the group owner to school. For the file hello okay okay so this is um, change group ch group um, then school and hello let's see 
Write a script that changes the group owner to school from the file hello. Okay, that's correct. That's correct. Let's escape, save. And exit. Then let's change the mode and make it executable. U, sorry. U plus S, the name of the file. So git add git commit dash m and git push enter okay so let's clear our terminal the next question okay so we are done with the mandatory so Let's look at the advanced tax for advanced tax. So let's see how we can deal with the advanced tax now. Okay. Write a script that changes the owner to Vincent and the group owner to staff for all the files and directories in the working directory for all the files all the files that changes the the owner to vincent and group owner to okay let's copy this let me make this bold okay so vi so our script Constant bin bin bash. Okay. So writing a script that will change ownership, of course. Once it's ownership, a changing ownership that means is uh, C H O W N. Vincent. Let me see. Changes the ownership to Vincent and the group ownership to staff. Okay. For all the files. In the working dash, okay. So Vincent staff and then the exclamation mark. I mean the asterisk that's for all the files. So not just one file, all the files. So we're using asterisk to pick all the files. So that's all they want us to do. Okay, so we can just um, save. So git add git commit dash m and git push. Okay. So let's see our next question, question 15, symbolic links. Write a script that changes the owner and the group owner of hello to vincent and staff respectively the file hello is in the working directory um the file hello is a symbolic link the file hello is a symbolic link okay so how do we go about this we will copy this Bash. Okay. Okay. So change ownership. So it's a symbolic link. So that H and then they say Vincent. Vincent, sorry, let's see the other name. And staff respect respectively and the name of the file is hello okay underscore hello so vincent then staff and then underscore hello i think we've covered everything so symbolic link this is the file symbolic link and then vincent and staff and then the file name okay that's correct 
so let's go ahead and so we're going to change mode did i change mode for this for the last should i make sure there's a fitable for the last file uh, i didn't make the last file as a fitable i guess uh, which file was that? 100. Okay, so change mode Q plus S and um, the name of the file, which is um, symbolic link. So git add git commit. and git push so let me just make sure that that file was executable so that I don't end up stressing myself uh, what was the file? 100 yeah yeah you see it was executable it wasn't so there's no executable permission for the um for the owner of the file see if that file is executable so this is not executable so let me just do that change mode u plus s and uh, 100 okay so let me clear my terminal and list again so if i list again Andre should not be executable. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. So let's go to the next one. Um, let's copy this. And it says write a script that changes the owner of a file hello to Betty only if it is owned by the user Guelium. Okay. The file hello within the open. Okay. So write a script. That changes the owner of a file hello to betty so it changes it as if only it belongs to this okay let's go ahead and and see how we can write that script beam bash okay so of course we're going to use the change ownership and then we're changing the file from so we're changing the file from this owner. Let me just copy because I don't even know the name. Let me just copy. Okay. So we're changing the file from this owner and then to Betsy. And the file name is hello. From sorry this has to be equal to here yep so from this one to betty all right so i think that's that is correct so let's go ahead and um, okay so let's go ahead and save as it so change mode u plus s and the file name is 102 if only so git add um what is that git add okay it's not correct git add space git commit dash m and git push all right so let's see our last question our last question is uh, write a script that will play the star wars iv episode in the terminal okay so who knows the star wars star wars 4 star wars 4 so if you don't know it you can just Google it to see what the Star Wars 4 script is all about. Okay. 
so shebang bin bash all right so star works so this is um tenet okay so you can google this it's it's um free to google you can google this and see i already did so i'll just type it out for us i hope i'm correct so b towel and b t i n k e and lights dot n l okay i guess that is correct i guess that is correct but let me confirm that okay so i just have to copy that directly from google let me just paste it here all right so that is a command tenet tower dot blinking lights dot nl so save and exit so let's go ahead and change the mode and make it executable and then git add dot git commit dash m and git push okay everything has been pushed let's refresh and see if the checker has been released so if checker has been released we can check our code and see but if not once you've done this you should be good to go and then anytime the checker is released you go ahead and check your code i just want to be sure if the checker has been released Okay, the checker is yet to be released so um this is where we'll end this particular video please go ahead and comment um your experience leave us a like a thumbs up share our video hit that notification bell so that whenever we upload a video you get a notification and um see you in our next video bye